All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we are going to finally be talking about Andrew Tate. I feel like I'm one of the only people on YouTube who hasn't put out an Andrew Tate video yet, but today I do want to talk about the man, the myth, the legend, the top G himself because, well, he actually just got banned from two social media platforms. And that might not even be the end of it. I mean, when we look at what just happened, it's pretty possible, looking at other instances of things like this happening, that other social media platforms might eventually follow suit. Now, if you somehow do not know who Andrew Tate is, he is one of, honestly, the biggest topics of 2022, at least that I've seen. This guy has absolutely exploded in popularity, right? He went from not necessarily a nobody, but someone who was relatively unknown, especially to me and a lot of other people, to being a constant figurehead in the online entertainment sphere, I guess. Uh, I I've been seeing his content pretty much everywhere. It's been all over my TikTok. I've been seeing compilations on YouTube. As a young adult male, it seems like the algorithm has been pushing Andrew Tate onto me like drugs at a college party. You know what I mean? It's been insane. But for the most part, I've kind of stayed out of it, right? I just haven't really personally found that interest or that attachment to this situation but seeing this happen now I kind of want to talk about it because it's a pretty intriguing moment in the whole Andrew Tate storyline right this is a guy who has spent the last I don't know six to eight months absolutely exploding on social media now Andrew Tate is one of the most controversial online figures perhaps of all time at this point like uh, even though he's had this massive explosion in popularity you have millions of people People who either love him or absolutely despise him. He is definitely one of the most, I would say, divisive figures online today. And he's made a lot of uh, pretty out there comments. I mean, he's said a lot of things that most people wouldn't say. Well, it turns out that Andrew Tate today was just banned from Meta's platforms, aka Facebook and Instagram. So obviously, these are two of the biggest social media platforms in the world that he is now banned from. And if you're like me, you're wondering if decisions from other social media companies might end up following pretty soon, right? A lot of the times when you see, you know, like one or two of these platforms end up taking somebody down like this, you know, there's usually some sort of silver lining that kind of gives other uh, social media companies and platforms an excuse to also kind of get rid of you there. Meta has banned influencer Andrew Tate from Facebook and Instagram for violating its policies. The former kickboxer rose to fame in 2016 when he was removed from TV show Big Brother over a video which appeared to depict him attacking a woman. He went on to gain notoriety online with Twitter banning him for saying women should, quote, bear responsibility for being sexual sexually assaulted. He had 4.7 million Instagram followers at the time his account was removed. That number had grown rapidly from around 1 million followers in June. Meta said it had removed the kickboxing star from its platforms for violating its policies on dangerous organizations and individuals, but did not provide further details. Apparently, according to Meta, which is the company that oversees Facebook and Instagram, they removed him for violating a policy on dangerous organizations and individuals. Now, of course, this has has been a pretty controversial decision from Meta on one hand of everything you have people who are very supportive of him being basically deplatformed or removed from these online platforms in some way then on the other hand you have people who are pretty much usually fans of Andrew Tate who figure that him being removed from these platforms is like you know suppression of free speech or like an attack on Andrew himself now I do have a pretty significant issue with the way that this all was handled keep in mind I'm not some sort of like Andrew Tate fan or anything like that. I have found myself agreeing with some of the things he says, which usually are the less controversial things that he says, it seems to be. But of course, I can't agree with everything this guy says. You know, like he, he definitely says some pretty out there shit sometimes. Not everything he says is completely true or reasonable. I mean, that really kind of goes with anybody online or in any sort of position where they get to share opinions and whatnot. You're not always 100% right, but personally, I really want to know what specifically it was that got him kicked off of Facebook and Instagram. Now, a lot of people, you know, when you say things like that, right, they kind of, I guess, jump to the conclusion of you're, you're defending Andrew Tate? What the fuck? 
How could you defend this guy, bro? What do you mean you want to know what he said that got him kicked off the platform? Well, it's not necessarily defending somebody to want to know what it is specifically they said slash did to get them removed from a platform. Now, of course, people are speculating, right? You know, they're they're speculating that maybe uh, it, it was his treatment of women that got him axed from these platforms, right? Uh, Andrew Tate, from my understanding of the situation, has essentially been accused of, like, pimping women out on, like, live cams and stuff on the internet. I'm pretty sure he told, like, a story about how he was, like, basically pimping women out through these webcam businesses and whatnot. Uh, he's, I believe, under investigation for sex trafficking in Romania. I may have details about that wrong. Like I said, I'm not, like, completely, uh, I guess, infatuated with this situation. I'm just kind of reporting on the ban, more or less, but he has definitely said and done some pretty borderline things that could probably get you removed from social media pretty easily, but I want to know what it is he said and did specifically. Like, I, I don't know, I feel like in a situation like this, right, if Facebook and Instagram are going to come out and they're going to ban somebody, right, because, you know, they, like in this instance, they claim that they're a dangerous individual or organization. You should outright explain to us, the people who, I don't know, use your platform, basically pay the bills and whatnot, you should outright explain to us why this is the right decision, I feel like, right? At the end of the day, if you're going to make a decision like this, it just should be, I think, common practice to fully explain yourself on why you did this. Now, that's not to say that Andrew Tate hasn't said or done some things that could definitely warrant him being suspended or kicked off of social media platforms, but I feel like that situations like this could honestly boil over in other situations, and we could start to see, and honestly, we have already started to see this on platforms like YouTube and even Facebook, where when they take action against other people who aren't Andrew Tate or whatever, they still don't explain the situation. I feel like this is a very consistent statement stance that I've always held. I outright want to be told what is being done wrong. I feel like if it's wrong enough or it's bad enough that it doesn't belong on your platform, you should explain the threat to me, right? You should explain the issue to me. What What is being said? What is being done? That is outright the problem here, right? Well, meta, Facebook and Instagram here, they declined, okay? They declined to comment on what specifically triggered this, what, you know, kind of led this to happen. And keep in mind, they're fully within their right to do it. It's not like there's some sort of law out there where they have to explain it, but I just feel like it's the right thing to do in a situation like this. Now, of course, there's the possibility that other social media bans and suspensions end up following. According to the article, he's already been banned from Twitter, which would total the amount of platforms that have now banned Andrew Tate to three, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But I wonder if in the next few weeks and months, we'll end up seeing other platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, whatever it may be, start to kind of follow along and try to get rid of this guy off their platforms. Now, the problem that I see with social media platforms trying to get rid of Andrew Tate or ban him is let's be honest, it's impossible to stop his fan base right now. Like, Andrew Tate is such a hot commodity, and he's developed such an actually phenomenal strategy for growth on social media. So let me explain this to you. From what I understand through researching this situation, kind of trying to figure out how Andrew Tate exploded in popularity and how everything kind of went with this guy and everything, part of his, uh, I think it's called Hustlers University, which is like his $50 a month subscription where you can, like, learn how to be a top G or whatever. I'm pretty sure there's, like, like a clause or like some sort of uh, something in there that basically makes it to where people who are inside of this Hustlers University are heavily encouraged to repeatedly share Andrew Tate's content all over social media. So it kind of creates this like chaining effect of maybe thousands, if not tens of thousands of different social media accounts across every platform, constantly daily posting clips of Andrew Tate and his takes and his policies and whatever else that he says and does. Meaning that while, yeah, you can outright ban Andrew Andrew Tate's platform, right? You can kick his accounts off your social media, but the issue is he has a ravenous fan base that will defend virtually anything he says and does that is also extremely willing to share his content across all of social media. So there's almost like this Andrew Tate army in a way of people who are just constantly reposting for him. So while, yeah, you can ban the man himself, you can get him off your platform, you can't really get him off your platform, you know what I mean? It would take a level of cooperation between these companies 
companies and a level of, of just pure textbook, like deep cleansing of your website to actually fully get rid of Andrew Tate. And we've already seen how these social media platforms operate. They do not have the skills, the employees, or even really probably the fundamental understanding of their own systems to fully go through and get rid of somebody on this large of a platform. I mean, the amount of content that are uploaded to these platforms on a daily, even minutely basis is actually ridiculous. So is this the end of Andrew Tate? Honestly, no, I don't think so. I think we're gonna still have the Andrew Tate thing going on as long as people allow it to go on. As long as this man still has fans that are willing to post content on his behalf, that are willing to defend everything that he does, that are willing to go to these extremes to make sure that Andrew Tate is relevant and that his social media platform grows, you're going to continue to hear about Andrew Tate. It's just kind of that simple, right? So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus while talking about Andrew Tate getting banned and signing out.